What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Steam Gaming. My name is JP, and as you can probably guess from the title, we have another patch slash update for the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures emulator. And well, I'm here to show it to you guys. And first off, a happy Palm Sunday to anyone who is in that faith. And you know, let's begin. I'm excited to see this. Alrighty. <laughs> so first off, the heads-up display or the menu taskbar thing has returned. We have the character on the upper left corner. It says test character, obviously. Uh, the guy himself looks a bit odd. I feel like he hasn't been done properly, but of course this is just one of the many future updates to come. On the top right corner we have uh, this bar that you know we've seen earlier. I tried before you can click these, but not much happens. The question mark here, you click it and it brings you back to the main menu. So that, that's good if you want to get stuck in a place you don't have to exit the game. You just click here. The uh, X, the red X, of course, is to exit the game. Uh, down here, these are just buttons. Uh, click them but I don't think they do anything yeah they're just kind of there and the great aesthetic or great nostalgia for those of you who played the game as did I back in the day and yeah I'm just happy to have it back so let's get into it now on the right here last update this door was kind of blocked out we couldn't go in uh, it's back we can go in and we have the workshop area we got a Jedi Master here whose name I've completely forgotten because he's from the prequels and who the hell remembers anything from the prequels. Uh, we got a clone here and this, I believe, what, which game is this? Is that Tetris? Minigame. Droid programming. Okay, I don't even remember playing that game. It, I don't know. It didn't really appeal to me as a kid. I liked Lightsaber Jewels, Republic Defender and Starfighter and the occasional daily spin. That was always fun. All right. So this is the workshop area, and here, what's this, uh, droid, I think I played this one, I remember playing this one. Of course we can't access them through here, there is a way, I'm sorry, I was supposed to make a video about accessing the mini games. I didn't get a chance to, hopefully when I have time today, or the day after, I'm on holidays now, so I will be able to show you guys these mini games through the Flash player, soon. Alright, let's continue. Uh, the one directly opposite is the Jedi Enclave. I'm not going to go in there because, you know, I've showcased it many times in my other videos. If you're curious, you can check those out. But it's basically the same as it was before. And in the middle here, whoop, yeah, it's a bit of an issue to control this guy. In the middle here, we have the Jedi Meditation Room, as that's what I call it. Uh, we'll go in for a quick second. We'll jump back out. It's basically the same as it always was. Yo. Yeah, let's get out of here because, you know, there's not much to do. Uh, let me take that well, I haven't tried jumping out as I have in many other ones. I haven't tried jumping out again. I don't know what will happen. Maybe at the end of the video, if I have time, we can jump down and explore Coruscant another time, because why not? It's Coruscant. Alrighty, on the right here, we have the main lobby, which we'll enter now. And on the right here, we I believe we have the cantina. Ah, uh, yes, we have the cantina and uh, it's a bit dodgy here. Yeah, basically the same as before, so I'm not going to go in there. Nothing's changed here. Let's leave. Uh, this guy's a bit hard to control. Uh, all right. Down here towards the left, I believe we have the introduction room. I'm not sure if this is the introduction room. I remember seeing a cutscene in a room similar to this. I'm just basically going on memory. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think this is the introduction room. Uh, there's a couple of mini games here, which obviously you can't play. Attack, Cruiser, Galactic Forces. I didn't need to play these. Uh, Republic Defender is here. I definitely remember playing that. That was that was a lot of fun, and it's enthralled me into my love of RTS games today because RTS games are awesome. Technically, it classifies as RTS, right? Yeah, it's, it's RTS. All right, on the left here, we have the... Oh, goodness gracious me. All right, jump. On the left here, we have a uh, combat training room. Is it a combat? I'm just calling it a combat training room. Uh, yeah, we got those guys there. And down there, you can actually you can see there's a couple of people lightsaber dueling now. Alright, I'll jump down. Um, uh, you can get to the other side of those e elevators now. It's kind of hard to get back to where we came from, so I'll just use the question mark and get my question mark button and get back to the other area, and I can show you guys the transport room. Oh, uh, yeah, this, this is kind of annoying. I have a bitch to climb up to, but we will do it. 
so we can see the lightsaber duel. It's not that great, but like, you know, it's kind of awesome. Yeah, that worked out. Oh, just don't fall off, man. Just don't fall off. All right. And yeah, there we got a couple of little lightsaber dueling. That's some <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's some funny lightsaber duels. But you know, it's nice to you know see it again. And then the mini game here is where you basically lightsaber duel. Um, or is it here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here where they duel. Well, it's an arena. And it looks very similar to this. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to get back, so I'm just going to use the question mark, head back to the, this area. And then we'll go into the transport room. Maybe. Transport room, travel room, whatever. There's no names for these rooms, they're just rooms. Alright, so check this one. And we're going to go this way on the right. And we're going to enter, and yeah, this is the transport travel starfighter room. Starfighter here, which you could always talk to Skywalker. Is that Skywalker? Is that Skywalker? We could pick it up from there. And on the left here, there's speed bike racing. Yeah, I never played that. I never liked racing games as a kid. I was a weird child. Alrighty, here we have Ryloth. Um, Umbara, Camino, and some of the other planets have not yet been added. I'll just wait for those. If you want to, Camino is actually in. The previous update you can go there and check it out or you can just check out my other video I explore it for a bit and yeah, this is wild this is pretty much exactly as I remember it the Starfighter here I'm pretty sure that's Skywalker I saw Skywalker before but maybe he's in both places who knows yeah that's Skywalker that's Skywalker um grab a shield I'm gonna go to store clone trooper here I'm gonna enter that thing because it's tracking me and I kind of want to go in there. Come on! Oh, this guy's really annoying to play as. <laughs> there we Come on. I uh, was locked out. Oh, jeez. Let's continue to explore Ryloth. It's got the same music because I remember I've restarted multiple times my character and this is the music you play or you hear right at the beginning of the enter or anytime you come back to Ryloth, really. Uh, this area that I'm looking at now. That's where all the droids were. You basically go in and you rape them. It's a lot of fun. It's a little bit very repetitive, but yeah. And you start, I believe, just down there. Where that transport ship is. Everything's a transport ship. Here. I don't even know what I'm saying. You start down here and you know, basically work your way down. And this, I believe, will take us back to so yes, that is the Clone Wars Adventure Simulator Patch 1. Some neat things have been added. I personally like the heads-up display. I think it's a nice, cool addition to the game. I hope it gets updated again and we can actually access games through here. I'm mad with that, that you can play the mini games and flash games through. That would be pretty, pretty fucking awesome. I will try to jump down. I don't know if it's going to work because this character's um, he's basically been modified, so he can't really jump or go anywhere or everywhere as I used to do. Give it a try. It, sound, it seems like a fun thing to do. Come on, man. Come on, man. And yeah, we did it. Nice. <laughs> I, won't, I won't explore Coruscant for too long because this is a pretty fucking giant planet. So, we make our way down. Just so we can get into the main area, so to speak. I believe last video, I fell into Camino and I was basically just exploring through the waters. Definitely not as fun as exploring Coruscant, because it, Coruscant is just a weird-ass planet. It's like a giant city. It is a giant city. The whole planet is one big city. However that works. Um, yeah, like I said before, this character has been heavily patched up and you can't really jump everywhere, always with this guy. Kind of a bummer, but, you know, makes sense. I feel like I'm playing Prince of Persia again. Alright, I'm gonna jump here. Okay, that, yeah, this is... This may not work. 
you really want to see me explore Coruscant, it's one of my previous videos, which I'll link the playlist to through all my Clone Wars Adventure videos, old original videos and the emulator videos are all there. You can check those out. Uh, see the previous versions for yourself, or you just want to hear me talk, you know, whatever. Give it a try. Yeah, there's no way I'm jumping on this thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until the next update, uh, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment what you think below. Do you think this game would genuinely do Would Disney bring it back? I doubt Disney would bring it back, even though there's a lot of petitions and things about Disney doesn't care about us little folks, so they only care about their pockets. Disney went the one that shut it down, I don't understand that. It was basically Daybreak and Sony. They just, they weren't getting any money from it. And I could, probably because most people who played this game when they were, when they were younger and they really didn't sub. I mean, I didn't sub, I just kind of played wherever I could. I was a kid, I didn't have a credit card back then. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Comment what you think below, subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Farewell.